Want to see some really cool fashion? I just went to a great exhibit featuring Terry Mugler from couture to costumes. Check this out. Beep, beep. So I've been to New York City many times, but I've never been to Brooklyn. <laughs> and I was like, I want to go to Brooklyn. My friends are like, why do you want to go to Brooklyn? I'm like, I don't know. I just wanted to see what it was like. I was thinking it was just like all brownstones and uh, kind of suburbia, but it wasn't. I was really surprised. A lot of skyscrapers, saw the brownstones. Uh, just, wow, I was really amazed. I was so glad I got to see it. But when I was planning my trip, I was like, okay, I'm going to go to Brooklyn and check out all the fabric stores. And I'll show that to you in another video. But I was looking at fashion exhibits, see what was around, and at the Brooklyn Museum was the Terry Mugler exhibit, and it was closing soon. I gotta get over there. And boy, am I glad I did. It was beautiful. It was so much to take in. It was, it was a beautifully well done exhibit, great set design. Costumes were, I don't know, they were, it was fun because they had the couture pieces, and then they had the really costume pieces. So this was, Welcome to Brooklyn Museum. It's sort of like a mini Met Museum. And then this was one of Terry Mugler's favorite pieces that's in there. I'll show it to you. Let's take a look. First, we have to get through this crazy traffic. Wow. Don't hit that guy. Oh, red light. So we're in the hood in Brooklyn. Love the architecture all around this city. And then there's Junior's. Oh, simply the best cheesecake I've ever had. And it's a landmark in Brooklyn. It's been around, wow, many, many, many years. And wow, the best cheesecake. I had the chocolate mousse. It was uh, full of eggs and dairy. And I don't eat it either one of those. So yeah, <laughs> I ate the whole piece. It was pretty big. But I did eat it over a course of a few days. So that was good. I wasn't feeling so good afterwards, <laughs> but it was worth it. <laughs> I'm here to see the Brooklyn Museum and the Terry Mugler exhibit, and that's what I needed to do. So this Brooklyn Museum looks just like a smaller scale Met Museum. Same, same kind of look, which I really liked. And I love the smaller Statue of Liberty that was in the front, in the entrance. So I took a picture with me and my friend Karen, and that started our day. I think he was a master hat maker too. Well, I love couture exhibits. And Terry Mugler knew how to do couture, but he also really knew how to do costumes. Wait till you see this. Okay, so I was really curious on how these feathers were staying up. Love the showgirl costumes. They were made for Mugler Follies 2013. Then around to see the back views of all these amazing costumes. I love that feather boa. So now we're off into the funky room. So check out this tire suit. <laughs> Rubber tires.
And the bustiers, they're inspired by car grills. They call this the futuristic and fembop costume. These designs are all inspired by car parts. Then we round the corner to more car park designs. These are all in an acrylic box. It's making sense now. These are like mufflers. Then we go into the angel room where there are displays all about his famous angel perfume. This was a beautiful design he called Glow, which he designed in early 2000 and then used it for his angel advertisement campaign in 2014. Just love this fascinator. This was such an interesting piece. I can't remember what it was made out of, but it really looked uncomfortable to wear. But it was really amazing piece. Now we're on to more insect-inspired creations. Mugler called this metamorphosis. Mugler believed that beauty and seduction are instinctual and that all living creatures share these attributes. His most imaginative designs took inspiration from the natural world, including a host of birds, butterflies, insects, undersea creatures, and reptiles. So this is Mugler's infamous La Chimere Gown. Can't pronounce that. <laughs> it's his masterpiece made in collaboration with corset maker Mr. Pearl and artist Jean-Jacques Yurkun. Can't pronounce that either. <laughs> it has mythical status, considered by some as one of the most expensive creations in couture history, given the meticulous amount of work required in its construction. This dress literally took six weeks of working 24 seven. So basically more than over a thousand hours just in the embroidery. Yeah. Right, right. No. I mean, an architect, I know. But they know how 
to more of any people probably make it now. <laughs> Now we move into the room of under the sea, complete with scales on dresses and a glass bustier. Ah. Yeah. That's a lot. I mean, he was very prolific. Yes. A lot. This is horrible. I know. I like this music. Yeah, what is this? Oh, so this is just this is just the tin, the the tin stuff, and then they just poke holes through. Yeah, it's an interesting. Uh, yeah, creative, and it's just a white styrofoam behind it. Yeah, and then they put that. That's the set designer for you. Wow, what an exhibit! And I loved after you went through all the mazes of different rooms, you end in a room with video it's about five minute video of all the clips from his fashion shows over the years so it was really cool and he directed most of his fashion shows himself so they were pretty creative Around the next corner were all sketches of his artwork and a chronological timeline of his work. That's something I really needed to see because by the end of this you're really curious on like when he started and just all that. But he started his, he opened his first boutique in Paris in 1978 and by 1986 he had over 50 stores and boutiques around the world. Okay, now at the very, very, very end of the show are uh, hang, hang tags. Yes, hang tags. And they were for us to draw on and to write notes, like thank you notes to Terry and sketches. So I loved all the artists coming through and doing really cool sketches on the hang tags. you enjoyed that sneak peek into Mugler's creative genius fashion line, costumes, show, couture. He's all over the map. It was pretty amazing. I loved how he was inspired by insects and really made some <laughs> cool fashions out of it. I don't know about wearing them on the street or not, but they make a great fashion show. So uh, if you know of any great exhibits coming to where you live and you think I would want to know, drop me a line down in the comments below and I'd love to know about it and I know this exhibit was around about six months at the Brooklyn Museum and I know it travels around so look out for it if it's coming to your town because it's it's a do not miss type of show and you would really enjoy it seeing the whole thing uh, so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have it and I'll see you in the next video Beep.